Welcome to College U. I'm Chef Dan Fournette, and today we're going to be featuring our Ear Knox unit. First and foremost, we're going to jump over to our corporate chef, Michael Ottoni from Montreal, and he's going to teach us all about the amazing sous vide features within our blast chiller. What would you say if I have the solution to increase production, reduce food waste, and maintain product freshness? With me, I have Francois Martel, who is a sous vide expert. Francois even wrote books on how to properly execute these recipes, and he is proud to have Irinox in his kitchen. We use Irinox Multi Fresh in our kitchen every day. We cook sous vide at low temperature, and we chill in the same time in the same piece of equipment. It's very accurate. It helps us to produce more overnight, 24 hours a day. The product is very interesting and it's over 30 days shelf life. Irinox is one of the most important piece of equipment in our kitchen. It takes imagination, skill, and technique for chefs to fully express their creativity. And it takes confidence in your equipment to ensure the freshness of every dish brought to the table. Quality and time are the fundamental ingredients for success. With Irinox's multi-fresh system, chefs can control daily product quality, reducing production costs, minimizing waste, and make their kitchens more successful. No more complicated programming. Just set it and let Irinox do the rest for you. With the multi-fresh feature, not only can you blast chill from hot, shock freeze at minus 40, you can also do low temperature cooking, low temperature cooking and chilling or freezing and defrost during the night. A lot of end users and operators appreciate the fact that they can cook and chill overnight, increasing their production. These different functions allow the operator to fully have trust in Irinox while it's operating during the night. Thanks to its HACCP technology, all the information and parameters is registered and saved, so this gives the operator peace of mind that he was within the temperature ranges. Whether you're a fine dining restaurant, a hotel, a hospital, or even a pastry shop, you can definitely benefit from having an Irinox in your kitchen for your operation. I'm a strong believer in blast chilling and cooking sous vide. It represents the future of our industry. Contact your local rep for additional information. Thanks, Mikkel. That was a really great video. That video featured our older unit. This is the Multifresh Next by Irinox. This is the new and improved unit. And it features next level performance, next level customization, next level sustainability, and next level design and technology. We've come a long way since ancient humans started to farm the land and to feed themselves with its fruits. Vertical gardens and urban agriculture, hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics, agricultural drones and smart farming, floating greenhouses and remote irrigation, ghost kitchens and virtual restaurants. In the last decade, the agri-food chain has evolved in ways that even the most enlightened of us could never have imagined. Yet we still haven't managed to solve the greatest problem, food waste. Ingredients and dishes end up in the bin because they've lost their aesthetic qualities, flavor, aroma, and nutritional properties. Here at Irinox, we work hard for this cause, designing blast chillers and shock freezers to extend the life cycle of foods and revolutionize the concept of freshness. Perfection, attention to detail, optimization, and efficiency 
For 30 years, we've been learning these values from chefs, pastry chefs, ice cream makers, and bakers all around the world. From the United States to Japan, from Singapore to Europe. Together, we have helped to promote chilling technology to keep foods fresher for longer, optimizing working processes and reducing waste. Today, the new Multifresh Next is on hand to support anybody working in a kitchen with 12 functions and 150 cycles. Whether you're an artist with your creations or a giant in the food industry, Multifresh Next meets all your needs. Next uses propane, an eco-friendly gas with zero impact which does not damage the ozone layer and guarantees maximum energy efficiency. The use of propane enables NEX to consume up to 40% less for chilling and freezing compared to a standard blast chiller. These figures allow to protect the environment. Propane has a global warming potential of a thousand times lower than other refrigerant gases with a minimal environmental impact. And the benefits extend to your business as well. Next offers the best performance ever and completes a chilling cycle up to 25% quicker. Plus, with the EcoSilent package, Next guarantees efficient performance with extremely low noise emissions. This is the perfect solution for quiet environments and to ensure the well being of employees. An optional turbo package is also available, allowing to increase the chilling or freezing capacity by up to 30% to provide excellent results also in working environments with temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius. Working is so much easier with Multifresh Next. Every detail of the new Bless Chiller has been designed to meet the needs of those who use it every day. The secret of its performance is the innovative multi-circuit MC3, which provides uniform chilling cycles with a full load and optimal performance also with partial loads. The front grille has been designed to increase airflow and ensure easy cleaning. The door is equipped with concealed hinges, which can be adjusted to avoid any impacts with surrounding equipment. The handle features an iconic design and is now even more robust and functional. A new probe guarantees a perfectly accurate temperature reading and can be easily stored in the magnetic surface inside the door. The multi-rack tray holder features adjustable spacing for the various types of trays. The microbial load is reduced up to 99%, even in inaccessible areas thanks to Sanogen, which releases active ions. The upper part of the blast chiller features a customizable display that allows for easy startup and monitoring of the various chilling cycles, also remotely. An external LED strip shows the progress and completion of cycles. Wow, what a cliffhanger. Actually, that was an amazing video. Now let's see some of the features and benefits live and from our test kitchen. So first and foremost, we're gonna test out some of that amazing ice cream making features utilizing a watermelon mint sorbet and a peach lavender ice. We're also gonna be testing some of the sous vide videos or some of the sous vide features that Mikel was talking about within his video. We're gonna sous vide some cauliflower, turn that into a puree, and we're gonna pickle some purple cauliflower within there. Gently sous vide some asparagus, and we're gonna sous vide some short ribs. And while I'm chilling at home, I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and see how beautifully these are all cooked up. And lastly, we're gonna sous vide some potatoes because you can't have a good short rib dish without a little bit of starch. So before we get cooking, we're gonna go over some of the new features and benefits, touching back on that next level sustainability, next level performance, 
next level customization, as well as next level technology and design. There's a lot of new additions to this control panel that really help the operator customize it to their best needs and find the cycles and control their own cycles that are best suited to their operation. So don't be shy, come on a little bit closer and I'm gonna start showing you this control panel and navigating it and showing you all the amazing additions to this feature. So to introduce you to the new control panel, it's a lot more user friendly. It's more like using a tablet or an iPhone. It's very easy to navigate. You can scroll through and you see we've got all of our cycles pre-programmed in here for the gastronomy setting. So I can cycle through. One of the main differences from this screen, we'll go all the way through and we've got a non-stop cycle. So that's essentially a heated holding, cold holding, frozen holding. So this now becomes a non-stop holding cabinet. And the defrost cycle is actually here, whereas before it was underneath the gear setting. So if I get into the gear setting, you'll see that I can click on my gastronomy and I still have all four segments. I've got my ice cream, my bakery, and my pastry. And if I want to change it, I hit pastry, let's say, and I go to save. And now if I go back, you'll see that I've now changed to direct proofing, program proofing. I've got all of my, my cycles here that are good for that segment. So I'm gonna change this back now to gastronomy because this is where a lot of our bread and butter is saved in. So from here, I'm gonna hit the home button, hit the menu at the bottom, and now I've got my chilling, freezing, cold holding, warm holding, thawing, ready to serve, low temp cooking, direct proofing, program proofing, pasteurization, and again, the nonstop and the defrost. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into the low temp cooking. And you're gonna see from here, we've got cycles that we've built ourselves. We've got our sous vide short ribs, we've got our brisket for the chili, we've got then the pre-programmed ones in here, and then going down to our WD College ribs. Now the cool thing about this is after I've programmed them or I've created those cycles, I can then go to my dashboard. And within here, this is my home screen. I've got my dashboards that are my most used items that I can save in this screen. So from here, we're doing our short ribs right now. I can click on this and go through my parameters and see what I'm gonna be doing within that cycle. Now, the other, some of the other amazing features of this is if I hit the right pad, I can now edit that right within this home screen, and I can go through, I can add, change the temperature. The heart means my probe, so I can change the probe temperature, my fan speed, my fan strength, and of course, the amount of time. Now, some other really cool features, I can now hit the colors, and I can assign colors, so if it's going to be a meat segment, I can put all of my meats under one color, so I can put them all under red. If it's a fish, maybe blue, some greens, some greens, and you can get into some fun stuff there as well. I can also assign icons to that, and the icons will then help keep, keep the category um, of all of my menu options together. So we're going to get out of that, hit back. If I'm want to make this even more user-friendly, not that it's not user-friendly enough as it is, I can click one of these items and hold it. And you are now in the edit dashboard mode. Long press and drag a cycle tile to change its position. Double tap tile to resize it. So if I double tap it, now if this is my most used cycle, I have this bam right in front of me all the time and it's very simple to use. I hit exit and there it is. I click on that and here's my cycle. One feature that we haven't touched on, which we're gonna show real quick right here, is the ability to monitor your HACCP, your Hazardous Analysis Critical, Critical Control Point System. So in order to be HACCP compliant, I need to understand what that product is doing every step of the way, monitoring the temperature of that product, ensuring that it is being kept out of that danger zone, and the product itself is gonna be as safe as it possibly can be. So if I go into my dashboard, and I hit my gears, I can get down to my HACCP button here, and I can see that I've got some reports, and I can export those reports to my phone if need be, if my unit is set up to the network. The other great feature that I love about this, um, before, when we were operating uh, a cycle, we wouldn't be able to come in and do some customization or check what's happening behind the scenes of the unit without stopping that cycle. Now I can see I've got a cycle running. I can click at the top and it's showing me what's happening right now. As you heard, heard me talk about before, we're cooking the short ribs right now amongst a whole slew of other things. So stop the cycle here or I don't need to. I can keep going through all of my cycles and seeing what I have. If I go into 
I can sort by usage, I can sort by last completed, I can sort by alpha alphabetically. Again, another feature that's new. I can also funnel it, so I can filter it and go through my Erinox cycles, so I can only see my Erinox cycles, or I can only see my user cycles and my Erinox cycles, or I can only see the user cycles. And these are all the cycles that we've completed ourselves. So we can get out of that. Here's the cycles that I've got. I've got 80 in here right now. This is for every cycle that we have pre-programmed in here. So the other thing, opposed to changing from gastronomy to pastry, baking, or ice cream, I can actually see all of my cycles within one place. So it's a lot more efficient, a lot more effective for an operator to use. And from here, I can also add. So I can go into any of my regular features. I can add from chilling, proceed. And here, now I can go straight into the chilling cycle and add that to that entire cycle uh, features. Now, last but not least, we're going to talk about next level technology. Now, if you can see this, this is my phone. And I have an app on my phone which shows me for a multi-unit multi operator, I can customize and sync my phone to all of my Erinox units, and I can have them organized into each category. So here, I only have one Erinox, unfortunately. I'd like one for my house. But here, I've got WD College. So under WD College, I see that I've got my Erinox unit here that is currently operating at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, cooking my sous vide short ribs. So this is my Erinox Multifresh Next, medium size. And I have it operating currently right now in my test kitchen. The advantage of having this is now I can operate from home with the peace of mind that I can monitor what my unit is doing from the comfort of my house while I am chilling on the couch. I can also check my HACCP reports, my events. If I happen to get an alarm, I will get a notification on my phone. And I can backlog my analytics to make sure that my unit is doing exactly what I need it to be doing at any given moment that it is being used while I am not present in the space. So that's pretty much all of the nuts and bolts and the new additions and the features and benefits to our Multifresh Next unit. That is going through all of the next level performance, customization, technology and design, um, as well as sustainability. Now for the fun part, let's get cooking. We're just about to temp. I'm going to get these guys in so I can go home and chill. Sous vide, short ribs, starting from the top, loading down. And then we're going to sous vide the cauliflower overnight as well so that we can puree it very easily tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow. Morning. Well, I was at home chilling out last night. Had a fantastic night's sleep. Looks like the cycle's completed. I'm holding cold right now. Currently at 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see how the short ribs and the cauliflower turned out, shall we? Oh, look at that. Very soft, fully cooked, ready to be pureed, chilled down. You can see the fat started to congeal. All that's left now is to reduce the sauce, caramelize them, puree some cauliflower, and then we're gonna quickly sous vide our peaches, our watermelon, our potatoes, as well as our asparagus and our pickled cauliflower. Once that's all done, we'll plate it up and we'll see how it all looks together. The fun part is over. We've got all the food cooked. We've caramelized our sous vide potatoes. We've caramelized our sous vide short ribs. We've quickly fired our sous vide asparagus through the oven to give them a really nice color. This is our pickled purple cauliflower, which in the vacuum sealing process, we actually compressed and locked in all of that color. And through the gentle sous vide process, we've maintained that color as well as infused all of the pickling liquid. Here is the velvety cauliflower puree that we sous vide overnight with the short ribs. And this is what we took out of the short rib bags and reduced down, and this is our au jus. And lastly, just a little garnish that we made on the side, some root vegetable chips. So now I'm gonna plate everything up on this plate here, just for fun.
cauliflower down. Take some of the asparagus. And through that sous vide process, you can see that we really locked in all of that chlorophyll on the asparagus, ensuring that it's very vibrant and doesn't lose any of the nutrients or the color. Now here's some potatoes that we sous vide and then we caramelized each side. Put one there. We added a little bit of butter and a small amount of garlic. When we went through this sous vide process, we'll take the largest of the short ribs, give that a quick roll in the drippings. Okay, handy dandy tweezers for the fancy stuff. Okay, some purple cauliflower for some beautiful color here as well as that pickling liquid that we did. It's gonna add some acidity to the dish and help tie everything together and cut through some of those rich, robust flavors that we're gonna have. Really help balance it out so you get an even keeled dish. Find a couple little fellows, put sporadically throughout the plate. This is always the fun part and the easiest part especially when you're using a piece of equipment like Irinox, that does half of the work for you. Okay. I think that's good. And what we'll do is we'll take a few of these chips, tie them in for a little bit more color. Just a few pieces throughout. And last and of course not least, just a small amount of the jus because we don't want to take away from too much of that color. There you have it. Our beautiful 24-hour sous vide short ribs in the multi-fresh next by Irinox. Now we're all cleaned up. Everyone's enjoyed their lunch. We're going to circle back to that watermelon sorbet and the peach sorbet that we were talking about before. So I've pureed it. I've steeped mint and lavender. So mint in the watermelon, lavender in the peach. And I pureed it in our blender, made a big batch, which we're going to utilize for another event. And I've frozen a smaller batch within the Irinox here. It's taken about 35 minutes to freeze the smaller batch. Let's have a look. So I'll pull them out now. As you can see, we've got our peach lavender and our watermelon hemp. Chef Dave Wilson brought some beautiful mint from his garden at home. So let's plate a little bit of this up. So this is our peach ice. And as you can see, it is very frozen. There's our peach, and then the watermelon mints here. And there we are. There we have our dueling sorbets. That's been this episode of College U. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Chef Dan Fernet with WD College, and that's the Multi Fresh Next by Irinox. Hope to see you next time.